What is up? I missed you. What's going on, guys? So it's Navi Mac Life here. Do me a favor. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, just hit it. It helps my channel out. And there's a little thumbs up. Hit that too. I'll appreciate you so much. Why do I have my sunglasses on inside? I don't know. I'm not trying to be that douchebag. Uh, I just literally walked in. Thus, why my coat is on. Let's get comfortable. Let me take my coat off. Just like Mr. Rogers used to do. Or is that his sweater? I don't know. All right, so this video is gonna be a little different. Um, I do wanna let you know that I have some Honda Navi stuff coming. Um, I've got a video coming out real soon with Reckless Customs. If you don't know who they are, they do custom aftermarket parts for motorcycles, lovely scooters. Uh, they do it for the Navi, that's all I care about. Today, well, we're in my tattoo studio. And uh, today I'm just gonna show you some of my art. If you don't like art, I don't know, don't watch the video. Go watch something else. It is too cold for me to go on the bike, even though the sun is out, it's just still too damn cold. But we're getting there, we're almost there. And when we get there, I'm telling you, mini moto content like crazy. First things first, let's check out some of my artwork that I've been collecting over the years, I've been collecting since roughly, oh man. Wow, now you got me thinking. Probably since 2002, three. And I've collected everything from um, art toys, the vinyl toys, to um, prints, artist prints, skateboards, everything. It's been my lifestyle. So yeah, let's check it out. Let's see, uh, I'll show, show you what I got. No, by no means am I showing off. I just enjoy art. I'm an artist myself. Obviously I'm a tattoo artist, so I appreciate art and I love sharing my art with people. I also have my own art and we'll check it out together. Let's go. All right, well, there is the uh, skateboards from, this one's roughly, I would say 87, 88 era. Those are not originals. Steve Cavallaro, that's Mark Gator Rogowski. If you know about Gator, uh, kind of a, well, he's, a, he's not around right now. So you can Google it or watch the documentary. Uh, Cavallaro, Steve Cavallaro, love Steve. That's actually one of my favorite designs. One of my favorite boards that he ever did. And the cool thing is, he draws these up. Like, that's his artwork. I always thought that was pretty cool. Uh, my artwork. <clears throat> Got over here. This is just some of it. Uh, well, y'all know Sloth from the Goonies, but I put the Wu-Tang shirt on him. That's done with these, like, special, uh, like, these custom, they're almost like watercolor markers that I used with that. It was my first time actually using those. Sorry about the reflection. Uh, this is, like, a cat woman I drew up. If you look real closely, that's all pencil dots. That's all dots. I drew that. We got some Obey prints here, signed by Shepard Ferry. This is a three-part series here, print. Love that one. And we got, oh, we got the old NBA Jam. Got these Clerks toys. This one's signed by Kevin Smith. I had him sign this. These are very old. Pretty much like when clerks came out that's the actual kevin smith one silent bob you know and then i got the old baseball cards can't go wrong with the jose canseco rookie card that was like the holy grail when i was growing up then the ken griffey jr rookies uh these are the project 70s hannes wagner uh mickey mantle and then uh she protects my room isn't she pretty then we got this uh, Cameron, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, print, signed. I forgot the artist's name. I'm trying to make that out. I don't know. Sam something. This is a David Flores uh, print, <clears throat> signed, 50 of 50. It's called the Death Head Mickey. Uh, let's go here, straight here. Steve Cavallaro did this for me. This is another one of his prints. Well, he didn't do it for me. He did 25 of them. Uh, I got the beer bricks. 
This collection is very valuable right here. These are the 100%. These are the gold ones that spell out the word bare brick. So I just got it real simple there, just chilling. So of course I want to do a video and I'm in, you know, I'm in a condo, so the cleaning service is here vacuuming. Of course I would be vacuuming when I want to do a video. All that time I haven't done a video, and the day I want to do a video, and I've never heard them out there. Well, I'm usually not home, but I've never heard them out there, and the day I want to do a video, of course they're vacuuming. So that's what that noise is in the background. If you can even hear it, it's just annoying. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of my other art. Uh, this is the good stuff. Here we go. All right, so this is a uh, pretty rare, not in numbers, but this one's kind of hard to find. I don't know if he released this. Um, it was just, I believe it just at art galleries, Shepherd Ferry, uh, but it is 190 at 200 signed. I love this one. This is by an artist called Course, C-O-A-R-S-E, Course Toys. Uh, I believe they call this the mono edition. So what this one is, uh, there's a colored version of this one, but this one here is the more rare one and it comes with the, uh, the box that it comes in is actually a display box. But if you get the other version, it just comes in like a regular cardboard box. So I got this for two reasons. I like this colorway better and then I like that box and plus it's more rare. All right, so obviously you're gonna see my reflection. This is Frank Kozik. That uh, destroy is actually supposed to go over his eyes, but it doesn't stay. That's a pretty big bust. Uh, here's more coarse. This one's uh, comes comes together like this, not with those glass domes. I actually found those glass domes at Home Goods. They were in the clearance section, and I couldn't believe they had two pieces left. And I'm like, I bet you those will fit my coarse toys at home. And sure as shit, look at that. It's almost like they were made for it. But I love this one. Course does really cool stuff. I almost think that's probably one of my favorite artists, uh, Course. It's actually two guys. They're from Germany. Check them out. Course Toys. Uh, it's Bounty Hunter. And then Ron English in the middle. The skull is Ron English. <clears throat> the other ones are by Bounty Hunter from Japan. Those pieces there are from 1999. That's how old those are. We got more Ron English. That's the boxing brain. More course that comes together with the owl and the boy. Uh, this is by a dude named Flab Slab. He kind of, um, he does a lot of like art pieces, but he does a lot of kind of making fun of cause in a good way. That's like made out of ceramic. It's a really heavy piece. Uh, I think it's called um, Kiss My Ass. And it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, there you go. Uh... This is by an artist, he custom makes these. It's Fuang, P-H-U-O-N-G, Tran, T-R-A-N. Find him on Instagram, he makes these. Uh, we got the Breaking Bad, Walter White, and uh, Jesse. So these are numbered. These came out maybe, shoot, almost 10 years ago. Um, Forgot his name. I think it's Jeremy something. I always love that piece, that glows in the dark. More beer bricks, House of Pain, Suicidal Tendencies, and I got the 100%, those are the 400%. Uh, that one I actually, um, so knowing people in the music industry, I've had, uh, that's actually signed by the guys from House of Pain on the back leg. Uh, JC Rivera, if you know from Chicago, you know his stuff. He he um, is a graffiti artist, but he paints that. It's called the uh, Bear Champ. He, that's painted all over Chicago. Different versions of that. More Ron English. Uh, that's by Risk. Artist Risk. Risk Rock. Mr. Cartoon. That was personally given to me by him. More David Flores. Those are like Smurfs, but they call them Smurks. I used to have a ton of those. Got rid of most of them. Uh, that's Obeyed. That's Shepard Fairey's first piece. That's actually signed to. The box is signed. Should I show you? Should I show you the Holy Grail? All right, I'll show you the Holy Grail. We got the Cause, 1999. That's his very first piece he ever did. So that's my prize possession. I'll never get rid of that piece. Uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of Cause, but I will not get rid of that. That's uh, Ron English. 
He does these things with the grins where he's got the skull coming out. He's done that with every character you can think of. Barney, uh, Teletubbies, Homer Simpson, uh, all that. Uh, Bounty Hunter collab he did with uh, Disney. It's the Bounty Hunter Mickey. That's by Jason Freeney, Mickey Bomb. That's actually ceramic. A lot of this is vinyl. That's ceramic. And that's actually three pieces. The legs come off and then the top bomb part comes off. We got more Ron English making fun of uh, Richie Rich, but putting the Donald Trump uh, into it. That's a Bounty Hunter plush. So it's almost like a little stuffed animal. That's rare too. Um, we got the, uh, you know, Teen Wolf. And then we got Back to the Future. The artist, I am drawing a blank right now. But he does that type of style. Man, I really wish I could think of his name right now. I can't. More Ron English. This is where he's making fun of cereal. They're called his cereal killer lineup. You know, you got... <clears throat> he's got the peg leg from his diabetes, I guess. Sugar smack, doing his sugar smack. His smack. More Ron English, making fun of uh, Ronald McDonald. So we got more David Flores. This one's called Kiss My Ass Mickey. This is the black colorway. That's the original Mickey Death Head. That's the original colorway. And then they came in all these different colors. There's the red version. I used to have them all, blue, yellow, whatever. I had them all, um, got rid of it. This is by Sket One. That's a Clorox bleach killer. That's signed too by him. That's S-K-E-T-1. If you guys have any questions or want to know who the artist is more, just uh, leave a comment below and I'll, I can give you more information about that artist. If you're in. That's by Frank Kozik. That's off Clockwork Orange. That's his Clockwork Rabbit. I still have that signed by him. Um, if you don't know who Frank, if you don't know who Frank Kozik is, K-O-Z-I-K, I mean, come on. If you know anything about the music, music industry, Frank Kozik designed all those classic posters from back in the day. Pearl Jam, uh, he did House of Pain, he did Biohazard, uh, Anthrax, uh, the list goes on. Like, he would do these cool, bright color, kind of cartoon style. Just Google it. Google Frank Kozik music posters and you'll find all the cool stuff he did. So then he started doing the vinyl art toys and uh, there's cool documentaries on YouTube. Check them out about Frank Kozik. He's an older dude. He, uh, he's a cool guy, man. He like really says what's on his mind. Doesn't give, doesn't give a shit about anything. And uh, makes really great art pieces. Uh, this shout out to my boy Jody, works for Stern Pinball. That's actually in the Kiss Pinball Machine. The pinball actually comes out of his mouth. Well, Gene Simmons. So uh, I actually asked Jody if I could get that. And uh, he had me come up to the, the Stern Pinball Factory and he grabbed me it. Jody's cool like that. Just gave me that piece. It's pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> I love this piece too. Uh, the name is not coming to me right now, but he's got the new era on. It's like a real new era hat. Oh yeah, Black Book Toy. That's the guy who does that. Um, but this is a Suicidal Tennessee's version. So you can see the back of his hands. Uh, this is by Flab Slab again, kind of making fun of cause. You can see the X on the hand. A little blood. Uh, next we got Bob Dob, another artist. Bob Dob. He did these two pieces. Um, then we got Luke Chu. That's another Ron English. Little they call those dunnies. That's Bob Dob too. That's the Mouseketeers. Uh, that's actually. A, there's actually a story behind that. A bunch of, back then, I guess, in like the 50s or 60s. I think it was the 60s, actually. A bunch of like teenager punks went, came into Disneyland and put on the little mouse ears and just like brought bats and shit and just destroyed at Disney. And he's this comes in a series of four. Like there's four different kids you can buy. And that's just one of them that I bought. That's Cause. Uh, that's called Partners kind of mimicking the Walt Disney statue with Mickey Mouse, but it's actual cause, Brian Donnelly and his cause character. 
currently for sale on eBay. So if you want it, let me know. Ryan English in the back. Two different versions, the gray, the glow in the dark. It's kind of like an Incredible Hulk, but with the baby face. That's what he was going for on that. Oh, this is by Hot Toys. Come on, you know the movie. Come on, you know it. Comment below if you know. You know that movie too? Early 80s? This is a pretty cool piece. They make like these crazy robots. I think it's called 3A. And the person's name is Ashley. It's a, I believe it's a woman that makes these. Ashley something. Can't think of it right now. Uh, I got the spray can there. That's signed. I'm trying to think of the name. I don't know. Chucky. That's not really rare. You could have got that anywhere. Uh, another Frank Kozik. Small piece. Ronald Reagan wearing like the crazy 80s glasses. Oh, I didn't show that. That's a wiffle ball that David Flores signed for me. Don't ask. Long story. And then I got my, uh, I got my uh, Obey. These are my uh, Holy Grail Shepherd Fairy Obey prints, all signed and numbered, as you can see. Really love, uh, love those. They look uh, real good in the living room. And we got my boy protecting all my artwork. So, yeah, that's it. I used to have a ton more pieces. I used to have, I don't know, probably 50, 60 more pieces, but I've slowly been just getting rid of the ones that I'm not in love with anymore or just don't care. Or like a couple of them, they were just, I liked them, but I'd be stupid not to sell it. You know, I bought it at like a retail price and then it's like went up a thousand percent. So I'd be stupid not to sell it. I mean, who knows? Maybe I am stupid and it's gonna just continue to keep going up and I'm gonna take a loss. There's been a couple of those actually. So that's it. That's the collection. That's my artwork. This is me making content for you guys. Just doing something a little different. No Navi involved. Get ready. Navi season's right around the corner. For you people that live in the warmer climates, I know Navi weather is just all year for you. I'm jealous, I admit. But it's warming up here in Chicago, so I'm looking forward to it. Also, stay tuned. Uh, turn your notifications on. That'll let you know when my new video comes out. That will be Navi related. That will be on the Reckless Customs piece that they're sending me. I'll tell you all about in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.